Okay, um, in this slide uh, you will see the uh, definition of the allotment. Um, basically, the allotment um, is a is a composed of uh, a geographical area, and we usually define it um, as a as a polygon vector. Uh, I will show you um, some of the use cases that you can um, uh, take advantage uh, of this option that we have in HTZ Warfare. Uh, you remember um, that we definitely need the, the inputs uh, to our mission file. Um, this will include uh, the mission ID, your uh, start and uh, uh, expiry date for your mission, and of course some uh, information about the sites and the network uh, that you're trying to design. This could be any type of network uh, as far as the link type. It could be point-to-point -point or uh, point-to-multipoint. And then for your site information, you definitely need uh, the, the location as far as the latitude and longitude. So you definitely have to define your equipment. Uh, antenna type, for sure, frequency plan that you predefined uh, based on the network and the type of the, uh, the, the station that you're trying to use. Uh, this information can uh, be prepared as an XML file. And uh, you can then uh, import it to our HTZ Warfare. Uh, the output of the tool will be the, the list of the channels or frequencies that um, you're trying to sign for, for your stations. I'm going to show you a, a use case on the, on the tool. Let's open the tool. So I'll go ahead and load the project. And uh, as you see on the map, um, you can see the different uh, display. Uh, for your um, image or for your layer on the on the map layer so you see I can um, select through different options for my map layer uh, different rendering and then uh, you can go ahead and uh, load your stations from the menu and um, I already created a, a list of the station uh, in a database so I'm going to um, load that station from the database. So as you see, you can um, zoom in and um, change the display of your icon. So it could be the standard, as you see, or um, you can uh, choose your own icon. And um, also you can um, select a different type of information um, that you want to see select different call sign or if you want to see the frequencies. Um, as you see uh, on the map, I have uh, my list of stations. And uh, you can see on the right side um, that you have the, the option or the ability to, to display the selection uh, or um, the showing the stations in different format, basically. The stations based on the network ID or uh, the site code or even the coordinates. And um, you have also the, the possibility, if you go to station parameters, you can um, define different uh, levels of echelons, as you see here in the, in the status tab. And um, you can also define um, the general information about the nodes, so the, the, the site name or um, the network ID. You also can um, attach your predefined frequency plan as you see um, you have a list of the the frequency plan that you predefined uh, before you have the possibility to attach it to your stations you see on the tool so um, the the connection uh, options that we were talking about uh, you can go to the tool uh, as you see on the on the map you can uh, go to the tool and then select the connection as you see, you have um, different options to uh, select the, the connection that you want to see between the stations. The, this link between the stations could be based on um, the field strength or um, it could be based on the visibility between the stations. You will see that you can select different options and then after you select it, as you see on the map, I'm just moving my um, mouse and then you will see that the, the connections 
in the real time in each location of the map and the and the point of interest. You also have um, the option if you want to um, select the rectangle and uh, choose the site or the sites that you want to um, isolate and then um, you can go to the uh, stations and then uh, select station and isolate the station as you see. You can again go to the tools and then uh, select continuous connections. Um, in here you will see the uh, different options um, that you can see the interconnections uh, between the nodes or between the stations that you already isolated. If I move any stations or any nodes, that's the, um, that's the interesting part. So the tool will reorganize all the links based on the new locations that you selected. Okay, as you see on this slide, um, you will see that uh, sometimes you need to connect two nodes together. So with HTZ Warfare, uh, you have the, the possibility to let the tool uh, select the best, or I would say the shortest path um, for the relay link between the two nodes, the best location um, in between or somewhere in between these two stations uh, that can be connect these two nodes together. So as you see on the screen, um, you uh, I select to have the connection between uh, the station nine, uh, which is your battalion headquarter and uh, your station one, uh, which is um, our platoon. And uh, as you see, there is no connection uh, available between these two nodes. So um, I use this uh, option, uh, the shortest path uh, on the tool. And then um, you will see that the tool uh, decided uh, based on the layers, elevation model, and uh, all other features and uh, parameters that you define. Uh, as you see, I have the new uh, relay created by the tool, which now uh, these two nodes can be connected together. Okay, uh, on the next slide, um, there is another feature uh, in HDZ Warfare. Um, the tool will decide um, at which point you will have the best coverage um, for the for the area of your interest. So as you see on the map, um, I draw a polygon and uh, I define different uh, parameters uh, for the station. Um, you have to define your uh, minimum and maximum elevation, um, your number of the random points that you want to do the study based on the frequency and um, other parameters like thresholds uh, after the calculation is done by the tool. We'll show you the percentage as you see on the right side, uh, I show it with the red. That means if you put your station in that specific location, you will have 80% of the, the polygon covered. This feature will give you a um, very good option to select the best location for your for your station um, to have the maximum coverage for that specific area. So you see on the left side um, that you have wide range of option when it comes to um, coverage analysis and um, uh, when you're trying to optimize your network. So you can show uh, different uh, types of map. Uh, best server, um, the overlapping map, uh, simultaneous server map, um, based on the numbers and percentage, as you see on the left side. Um, these are different options and features, uh, as I said, um, in HTZ Warfare, um, which helps you design and optimize your uh, network uh, to the best extent. Okay, um, this is slide uh, you will see another uh, unique uh, feature of the HTZ buffer where you can define a route or, or a path. This, uh, this type of mobile station can be uh, a jet with a different um, heights and different speeds in each uh, waypoint in an aeronautical environment or it could be a, a battleship or the aircraft carrier um, on the water in, in maritime environment. As you see on the left side, um, you have the option to define different heights and uh, different speed 
in each waypoint um, based on the elevation and you can uh, define the elevation based on the sea level or uh, the ground level and then um, after you define your path you can uh, go ahead and calculate the coverage along this path in each waypoint um, we have the option to do the interference analysis based on the c to i method which is a signal to interference ratio method um, we also have the possibility to do the interference analysis based on the threshold degradation method uh, for any mobile or fixed stations the microwave links um, or any uh, systems like uh, radars and 5g networks on the right side as you see on uh, the bottom right you also have the option to do the interference analysis based on the, the allotment and the mobile that you define so this dedicated feature um, will give the option to do any types of uh, interference that you're trying to uh, perform for your uh, network. On this slide, we will see how the uh, frequency assignment, uh, in order to minimize the interference, um, this can be a list of frequencies um, that you will define. I would like to um, go ahead and show you um, this example, uh, this scenario in the tool. For this uh, case, we are trying to assign um, five VHF uh, frequency, as you see on the screen, uh, to the network, basically, that's our object. Let's go back to the tool now and uh, see how this uh, feature will work. Uh, the overall process, uh, it's very straightforward and easy. As you see you, uh, on the right side, I prepared um, the process in a, in a walkthrough mode. Um, you can select the walkthrough file that you already uh, put together. Um, you can create your own walkthrough uh, file and then use it where you can um, or where you want to do your uh, interference analysis and uh, the frequency assignment. Um, so you don't need to manually go ahead uh, into the menus and every time and try to select it from there where you can uh, automatically select it uh, and then do the process. Okay, um, let me go ahead and um, open uh, my mission file. Um, and as you see on the on the screen, I select my mission file, and there you go. Now you can see the list of uh, stations on the map. Um, so now that I have uh, the the mission file already. Uh, uploaded or loaded to my to my project I can go ahead and um, load my existing network uh, by going to database station as you see and select all the sites by select all and then show on map you need to select on map and then it will show all the, the existing network on the map so if you want to isolate any nodes or uh, any station uh, to do the frequency assignment for you can go to the station list and then for for example in our case i would like to isolate all the the sites which have the the network id as uh, battalion 2 go to frequency assignment and select the fast assignment so in this menu, as you see, um, I've already prepared my uh, frequency plan um, from before, and I can just load load it here to the to the process. Press and start. So at this point, um, HTZ Warfare is trying to um, assign all five frequencies that I um, define, propose a new frequencies to each station. What we are expecting at the end of this uh, calculation is the, the list of uh, frequency which will be displayed and uh, they are attached to each station. Now after the calculation is finished, um, you will see the, the report. As you see on the left side, uh, it says call sign. The VHF 35 or VHF 36, so each one um, has the assigned uh, frequency. So, and then um, it's attached to each unique um, station. Because we are using the uh, 
the duplexing mode so your RX frequencies is uh, equal to your um, TX frequency so this is the kind of report um, that we get at the end um, with frequencies assigned to, to each uh, unique station. 